of Long Beach. Welcome to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Mike. And how at that Friday night full moon, Eye in the Sky's got upset on the mind. Last time the Panthers were able to knock off the Lancers, that guy was quarterback. Tonight it's going to be number 11, Hudson Romaine, under center. Yeah, the sophomore has been a great leader for his team. They are 3-3 three three right now after a huge win at home last week. Going up against the one-loss Lancers, still kind of early in the season, but this game, huge playoff implications. And as befits a playoff game, the team is fired up and a great crowd on hand for the J-Town homecoming. Yeah, well, Schultz rained on that parade pretty quick as this one <laughs> brings some rain with it. 41 yards on the second throw of the game to Xavier Shepard. 7-0 Lakewood very quickly. If you're Jordan, that's exactly what you didn't want to happen. You do not want to get into a shootout with these Lancers. But Romaine and the Smurfs right back at you. Great drive like your daddy used to do. 16 plays, 6 minutes, 3 yards in the cloud of dust with some possession passing, and then a lot of help from some Lakewood penalties. This a huge one. Pass interference as Romaine tries to find Hicks. Rashad Wadud, a little bit too much in Hicks' shirt as the flag comes into your living room, literally. That is, a con yeah, that is a continual theme in this game. We'll get back to it, but a couple plays later, 15 yards out, Hicks for the touchdown. Sweet 16 making it a one point game. They do not get the two point conversion, but did we say shootout? Lakewood right back at him. Fake the double reverse, Schultz. Gives it to big play Darius Powell, and when Powell's got some open field, you're not gonna get him. Pow! Schultz skipping down the field. Nice call, coach. <laughs> but guess what? Next play! Are you kidding me? Romaine, a huge pass, 63 yards to Hicks. Shoot that out is at the J-Town Corral. His second touchdown. The sophomore is so pumped up, not even sure where he's supposed to go. Coach is like, <laughs> hey, we don't really have kicker. We got to go for two, man. You got to get out there. So they give it to Zarate on the end around, and Eric to the pylon goes number 12. I put my hands up in the air sometimes. Tied at 14. High school football at its finest. Upset in the making could be. Zarate and the Smurfs on defense doing the thing as well. And then, hey -o, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is not your punter. That one's going <laughs> over his head into the end zone. Speaking of international symbols for things in football, that, my friends, is the international symbol for safety. Jordan gets the two points and the ball. However, the defensive line dominance will begin now as Todd Barr and Dupree Jordan Roberts just went crazy. Great matchup between some D1 O linemen and a couple of D1 D linemen. Yeah, they, I'll get back to them in just a second. Plenty of highlights for those guys. And Lakewood gets the ball back. And Rashad Wad, dude, up the middle to the tilt, right? Uh, not so fast, my friend. Schultz not happy with that flag. Lakewood not happy with all the flags. 150 yards and penalties for the Lancers, but this great field goal from Alex Boy makes it 17-16. Lancers, one-point game at the half. In the second half... The story remains the same. Hanky, flags on Lakewood, and defensive line dominance against Jordan. Five sacks, 12 tackles for loss, only 26 rushing yards on the night for the Panthers. Penalty puts them in the shadow of their own goal line, and in a game like this, you're waiting for a mistake to change the momentum. Sure enough, that, mis that mistake would come from the Panthers, and it would come on special teams. Bobbled snap, next play from three yards out. Number three, Wadud, actually does get into the end zone this time without a flag. So Jordan gets the ball back. More defensive dominance on the line. Are you noticing a pattern here? I they am go to punt to. the ball. Sure enough, that dreaded double thump. Nathaniel Simon breaks through. The senior gets both hands on that one. And then again, three plays later, is it number three from seven yards out, is it Groundhog Day? Wah, dude, it's seriously Groundhog's Day. 29-16 <laughs> now, Lakewood leading after those two touchdowns within three minutes. To say Groundhog's Day, a second 16-play drive, again aided by penalties from Lakewood. Wow. This, a pass interference in the end zone, puts it down on the two, and even if 6-2 Darius Powell's on me, Hicks says, I will not take no for an answer. His third touchdown, another fade. Well, if you got a guy who's got the in-air ability that that basketball player does, why, th why throw anything else? Deja vu all over again. That's literally the same play from Schultz to Pow. It's just crossing on the other side. 62-yard touchdown. There would be two more touchdowns. They would be unimportant. 42-28, the final Lakewood winner winner. But an encouraging loss for Jordan and Hicks, an unbelievable game with eight catches for a buck 24 and four touchdowns. Yeah, two quarterbacks slinging it around the park too. Romaine 17 for 32 for 235, four TDs. Schultz 18 for 24 for 276 and four TDs. But like Todd Barr said after the game, sacks win games. 
And if that front four can continue to play like that, Lakewood's going to win a lot of games as we get closer to the playoffs. For all that more league football coverage, stay right here, gazettesports.com.